have a little baggage with you, dear. So you're just supposed to hold microphones, but I can't in this situation. So I'm going to set it down. And I'm going to talk really loud. Can everybody hear me? Yeah, but we're going to get to the mic. Oh, okay. Well, why are you giving me a mic? I just want you to know. <laughs> I'm a fellow traveler on this planet with all of you. Yeah. We are all in this together. Oh, thank you. How do I look it on? Oh, okay. I like earrings. No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so professional now. Uh, <laughs> um, we could just. No. Yeah. I live back here. For now. <laughs> Getting there. I think they got to turn it up. Hello? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Is this on? Yes. No, it's on. Yes, it is. All right, fair game. Um, gosh, where do I begin? I mean, I, we're all on this journey together, right? And I don't know about you, but <laughs> Gonna sit some of it here, and and as, as I've gone on in life, and I'm sure and I hope you have as well, picked up some baggage along the way that maybe is holding you back. Anybody feel that way that they've ever no, yeah. kind of been carrying a little bit of extra that they really didn't need, but for some reason we collect it. Whether it is um, our own <coughs> obstacles, our challenges. What about challenges of other people that we tend to take on because we love them, we care about them, we want to help them, but they don't want to help themselves and they pull us down? I would consider that some baggage. I've carried a lot of that for others. But anyway, let's talk about some of this baggage. Whatever you want to call it, obstacles, baggage, bricks, anything that holds you back. So I'm going to, and the first time I ever did this was um, before I realized how heavy real bricks are. And I loaded my suitcase with real bricks. <laughs> it was back when pantyhose were still in style. <laughs> I think I hurt myself. <laughs> suitcase. Let's talk about the baggage. Can I put it on your table? I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about some of the, the things that maybe we have collected along the way since we started our journey on this beautiful earth. Okay? So I'm going to build a little ball. Can I put these down, please? And we're going to, hopefully you're going to be able to help me, and I don't want to mess these up, so I'm going to put these over here. There we go. I'm going to show you some of the baggage that I have. This is my suitcase. <laughs> Yeah. 
back on them because we think they have held us back and we can't let go and we can't forgive ourselves. What about things like um, poor health? Can poor health hold us back? Yes. Can it make us feel like we can't achieve? Yes. I can't do this because I can't go out in the sun anymore. I have lupus. But is that an excuse for me to hold back in my life? Come on, let me know. No. no. Don't give me permission. No. <laughs> okay. What about things like those negative little voices that we always hear in our minds, the self-talk? <coughs> You're not smart enough. And that self-talk can come from other people who have talked to you and told you things about yourself that weren't necessarily true. Uh, anybody have a good example of that? Anybody close to you told you, who do you think you are? You can't do that. Put yourself back on planet Earth. You're up in the star sign. You can't do those things. Have you heard that? Yep. Yep. In different words, maybe? Yep. And have they come from people the closest to you? I love my mother. <laughs> But she's always been a realist, and I've always been out of the box. And so growing up, I was always told, you can't do that. Why are you doing that? Who do you think you are? Quit counting all the eggs before they're hatched, or whatever, hatch the eggs, or, you know, get your chickens <laughs> and the basket and the eggs back together because it ain't going to happen type thing. Okay? So what about... Um, Failed relationships. Anybody ever have a failed relationship? <laughs> oh, yeah. How did you feel? Bro heartbroken. Fabulous, huh? <laughs> Just not that great. Oh, great, great. I've got a few of those. And doesn't it have to be a marriage? It could no. be any kind of relationship. I was really in love with guy once. I thought we were getting married. We didn't. Boy, it was I crush. But guess what? It opened the door to the man that I had. I was going to ask you if my name was on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love those chairs. No. Yeah. So, as you can see, what am I doing right now? Building, building, a, wall. building a wall. Building a wall. Building a wall. So who can think of something to tell me, share with me, and all of us, maybe something that is a brick in your life that, that you've had to try to overcome? Yes. I think fear is a big brick to a lot of people. I think fear holds us back sometimes. Fear, exactly. Which goes with fear of failure or, oh my gosh, what if I'm successful? Yep, fear. Do you know that's one of my fears? <gasps> what does it look like? What does it feel like? What am I supposed to do? You know, that fear of the unknown, of something that's really wonderful, but you can't really visualize it and see it, or maybe it can be a fear. And it can be a brick to hold you back. Anybody else have anything? I've got four more bricks. Reality. No. What's that? <laughs> reality. Fear of reality. <laughs> yes. That's true. And we have to face reality. Yep. Okay, what else? Anybody else? Low self-esteem. Low self-esteem. And I'll tell you, that is my theme song growing up. Because I wasn't like the rest. I always wanted to be like somebody I thought was better than me. And I always compared myself to that person and thought, if I could just be like that. And what is it really? We're all good enough, right? Mm -hmm. But I wasn't able to see that. What kind of? Um, not getting everything done before you're under the ground. Oh, there you go. And that really stops you, doesn't it? Because you become so bogged down, so worried that you can't be productive. Okay, I have one more. Anybody have one more? You can't do it all. Can't do it all. And we don't realize that you can't do it all is okay, right? Mm -hmm. So here we have this brick wall. Are we able to, to move past that? Is it, is it in our way? Is it holding us back? Yeah, so let me tell you what we really have in life and tell you what I really believe and I think a lot of you believe. I believe we all came to this earth with our own unique gifts and talents. And sometimes it's up to us to discover those 
and magnify those. And sometimes we discover those in the most trying times of our lives when it's a sink or swim. And we get this, aha, I can do this because of whatever it is you have that innate nature. So I'm going to open up my little backpack and share with things because really we don't come with a big bag of luggage. But we all come with our own essentials. And these are just going to be symbolically um, spoken about. I think we all need and came with a good pair of running shoes. These are my running shoes. I don't run. <laughs> <laughs> I walk fast, I used to run, and I really don't miss it, so that's okay. Um, well, you can see it, I'll tie it up in here, especially because I don't run. But what do these represent? These represent we have a journey in life. We all have a journey in life, and we better have a good pair of shoes because we don't know what roads we're going to be going down. We don't know what adventures are going to be laying ahead for us. We don't know what the path's going to be like. Is it going to be rocky? Is it going to be smooth? Are there going to be vistas of beauty? Are there going to be times when you're just enjoying the walk? We need these, and we all have these within us. Okay. As you can see, it's much smaller and much easier to carry around. And I'm going to get out of my cheat sheet because I don't want to forget anything here. And I've got it right now. Something we all have, and if we don't have it, you better figure it out. Get this out. Let me just get these little doodads out right now. Um, make it much easier because this is hiding, and we all have it within ourselves. And while you're trying to help me by being so patient,
spiritual umbrella. When the storms rise, the floods come up, the fire, whatever, whatever's coming at you, you need an umbrella. And that can be in the form of your relationship with God, which to me is very important. Your friends, the people you surround yourself with, they are the ones that are your umbrella, your protection, your go-to, your safe place. So this is really important. Remember, these are all symbolic. I don't carry these all with me downtown. <laughs> at the same time. Because I'm looking for the shoes here. Okay. I have learned in life, and I know I'm running out of time, and I apologize, that one of the greatest gifts God gave me was the gifts of humor. And I really believe if we know how to laugh at ourselves and make others laugh <laughs> and feel pretty cool <laughs> at the same time. <laughs>
Mercedes, didn't you say, touch a tree? Just touch a rock. Just be, just be part of the, the beauty of the earth and take time for yourself and to, to regenerate. We all have a light that is within us. We all have that gift. We need to find that light. We need to let that light shine. And we need to let that sh light shine deliberately. And I just want to close with this poem that I know so many of you are familiar with. It's by uh, Marianne, Marianne Williamson. Everybody familiar with it? Parts of the Spear? It's actually not a poem, but it's a quote. I always like to end with this because it speaks volumes. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Do we feel that? Actually, you are, oh, oh, oh whoops. Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your plain small doesn't serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. That's key. We were born to make, a man, to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us. It's in everyone. And when we let our light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Let your light shine deliberately. You have brought me so much light and love. I just feel honored to be here. When Holly invited me, I was like, I'm not going to I was scared to death. But you have all given me courage.